here you can see that I got a group of items right here. So what I can do is I can select all of these out and then I can group them together uh, by dates. So I'm, for that I'm going to make uh, a pivot table. I'm going to go into insert, go to pivot table just like this and I'm going to press OK in the new worksheet. So I'm going to enable the date right here. I can enable the item type 1 and then I'm going to enable the category and the price. So let me just rearrange the price right here. So the columns I want to add in, let's say item type, I want to add it in the column, no, not the uh, value right here. So the count of items, let me just bring it back into rows right here. Sum of price in the values, that's fine. Uh, years, quarters and dates, that's fine. So for the category, I'm going to move that into columns so you can see that it has the data has been divided according to the category now. So over here that you can see that there are years. So I can actually expand this out just like this. And it has the years, quarters and everything else as you can see. But what I want is I just want to display dates. I want just want to display the years. What I can do for that is I can right click over here and I can actually press group. And I can see that I can divide it according to months, quarters, or years accordingly. So I'm just going to choose years and press OK. And there you go, you just have the years now. So you can see that the grouping has been done by the years. I can expand and collapse this out right here, as you can see. So you see the totals, the subtotals, and everything else. And also right click, I can group this out by quarters only and press OK and you can see that now only the quarters are displayed just like that. So quarter 3, quarter 4 and just like that. Right click, group this out just by months, press OK and there you go, you just see the months. Again right click, you can see that all of the years, uh, all of the items from different years of January are actually displayed over here. I can also group it just like this. So let's say I am going to right click, group it over here and I want to group by days just like this and the number day, number of days it says is one I can just say group it by number of 10 days just like this and I can press OK once I do that you can see that the uh, items are displayed according to the dates just like this it's not only uh, different dates but uh, the date range that we gave right click I can group them out by months or quarters and just like that but for days you can actually type in your own numbers so let's say for example I want it every 50 days or so forth and press OK and the items have been divided according to 50 days just like this right click again I can go over here by grouping and I can display years as well and you can see that years have been displayed just like that so that is how you can group with uh, dates and days according to what you want uh, even over here inside of the design you can enable and disable the subtotal so you so you can just simply hide the subtotal right here so all the subtotals if you want to you can also turn off the grand totals as you can see and turn on for rows and columns even the report layout you can show it in different formats just like this you can also insert and remove blank rows if there are any blank rows you can insert blank blank row as well so you can see that every bl blank row is actually displayed for each and every item or you can remove it out just like this so that is the way how you can uh, group the items according to dates easily by using pivot tables hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe